All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Today I'm in this 2018 BMW 3 Series Touring. This is known as the F31 model, and it ran from 2012 until 2019. This caused some stirs when it was launched because this was the first 3 Series to be powered exclusively by turbocharged engines. They just stopped offering naturally aspirated motors. They also did away with the old hydraulic power steering and replaced it with this new electronic system. It was also the first 3 Series to offer a three-cylinder engine, and it was also the first to feature a plug-in hybrid variant. So much you might think for it being the ultimate driver machine. Well, don't be so quick to judge. In all honesty, it's just evidence that BMW are moving with the times. And all of the new era 3 Series that I've driven, you honestly can't tell the difference. They still feel like proper driver's cars. I've just caught my reflection in a shop window, and the F31's a good-looking car, you know. The exterior was designed by Michael De Bono, which is good to see that he's branched out from his U2 days. Sorry, that was a corny joke. But genuinely, this F31 Shadow Edition M Sport is a good-looking car. The Shadow Edition means that there's not a single ounce of chrome on this car. It's all been replaced with gloss black, which just helps it look more... more menacing. I think from every angle it looks sporty and purposeful. Who said estate cars are for geeks? Not me, but I think. Actually, that does sound like something I'd say. This is exactly how a BMW estate car should look. It's for that mid to late 30s man that's now got a family but hasn't given up on life yet. Otherwise, he'd have just bought a grey cash guy, but he hasn't. And you've got to respect that. I should point out early on in this video that I'm not a huge 3 Series fan. I like the coupes and the convertibles, but the saloon is a little too compromised. The interior is too cramped and impractical and the ride's too firm. You're honestly better off with the 5 Series. But the 3 Series estate on the other hand is a different kettle of fish. I think what this is, is the perfect family car. Okay, so it isn't as roomy as a 5 Series toy, but it isn't a million miles behind. And its compact frame means that this is the perfect car to use on a daily basis here in the UK. It's nice and easy to park, especially with its park assist. And it feels nice and narrow, so it never feels worrying when you come head to head with a Massey Ferguson on a twisty country lane. Like I say, the perfect family car. This is always my argument when you hear somebody say that they want a Qashqai or a Tiguan for the family car. Why? This is better in every measurable way. For starters, they look better, especially if you get one in a good colour like this. They're better on fuel, because you're not turning around a big refrigerator on wheels that's aerodynamically poor. They're every bit as practical, and they're far better to drive. And when I say far better, I mean far, far, far better. This sends power to the rear wheels, which as we all know is the best place to send the power. And I don't care that the steering is now done by computers rather than Brunellian engineering. You honestly can't tell. It's superb. I also don't care how many people will tell you that automatic gearboxes are for wimps, and if you're a petrol lad, you must go for a six-speed manual. They obviously haven't driven this eight-speed ZF box, which is excellent. It carries out its job better than most. The changes are quick and seamless. Kickdowns are instant. It's really as good as a conventional auto gets. It's a pleasure to drive this car. You could do a lot of miles in this. The ride isn't overly firm like some 3 Series of old. It handles beautifully. It feels balanced and poised. If you want all-wheel drive, then they do offer such a thing. That's called the X-Drive model. What this is, is a really good all-rounder. Engine-wise, there are lots of different motors to choose from, but we might as well talk about the one that everyone will buy here in Europe. It's this four-cylinder, two-litre turbo diesel, as found in this 320D. It is only a four-cylinder, so the power doesn't feel relentless like its bigger siblings, but then with speed cameras everywhere, it's good enough. It does a decent job. This produces 190 horsepower, which means it's good for 0 to 60 in around 7.5 seconds, which does feel genuinely brisk, and it'll top out at 140 miles an hour, otherwise known as twice the speed limit here in the UK. It's fairly wallet friendly at the pumps too. This'll do 40 miles per gallon around town, and 55 or 58 miles per gallon on a steady motorway run. If you opt for a pre-2017 model, you'll only be paying Rishi £30 a year in road tax which, thinking about it, isn't even enough to cover the fine he got for drinking Pims in his back garden. A post-2017 model like this will set you back a flat fee of £155 a year. The interior is genuinely lovely. I think they've got the balance just right between sport and luxury. And the steering wheel's both lovely to use and look at. It's all very tasteful and elegant. I think the layout's very good, all of the buttons and switches are nice and easy to operate. I only wish they'd put a volume control here, near the iDrive controls, rather than here. How do you figure out that that's a good place to put it, and yet BMW haven't? Never mind, I suppose I'll get over that. On the upside though, you get heated leather seats, Harman Kardon stereo, satellite navigation, 
digital radio and Bluetooth streaming. And mm, that's about it. Everything else is an optional extra, including electric seats, which just annoys me. I hate manual seats. Sometimes I just want to adjust the seat a fraction. But with manual seats, you can't. You've got to settle for a complete rung in the mechanism. It just feels cheap. Whilst I'm still rattling on about the interior, I love the fact that you get an old-fashioned proper handbrake and two cup holders and a nice comfortable centre armrest. It just feels as though everything's been designed around the driver. I could happily do 30,000 miles a year in this. In fact, the previous owner virtually has. Bear in mind this one's four years old, it's done 94,900 miles. And what's impressive is that everything still works. Everything still feels as tight as a drum. Nothing feels loose or worn, which I guess is a testament to its build quality. Up front there's plenty of space, plenty of headroom, plenty of leg room, plenty of elbow room. In the back it's a little bit cramped. It's fine for big kids or small adults, but if you're a fully grown adult, you wouldn't want to drive from Land's End to John McGroats back there. The leg room situation is a little bit Ryanair. The outer seats do have Isofix points for your car seats though, so like I said earlier, why buy a Qashqai? Moving back further still is the boot, which is very impressive. It offers 495 litres of space, which is a whopping 35 litres more than the previous model. And because it's lower than an SUV, you'll find loading your pram into the boot a much easier proposition. It looks good from the back too. I also like how you can open the tailgate glass separately. I'd personally debadge it so nobody knew that I was being a cheapskate with my 320 diesel, but that might just be me. The only real negative I can think of with this car is the service you're likely to receive at your local BMW main dealer. All of my experiences have been anything but good. I think it'd be a good idea for BMW to send their staff to the Lexus School of Customer Service for a few... years. And the cost of servicing at BMW main dealers can be a bit hit and miss. So my advice would be find a good independent BMW specialist and just stick with them. There are some common issues to look out for. Pre-2015 320 diesel engines can suffer with bad timing chains, or specifically timing chain tensioners. That's something that can cost you around £1,000 to correct. Post-2015 models were fine. Also, the turbos can fail on the petrol models. I've had that happen a few times, and that can cost you a couple of grand for a new turbo. If you're looking to buy one, make sure there's no oil splatter from the exhaust when you start it up, or any blue smoke. The EGR valves can clog on the diesels. That's going to cost you around four or five hundred pounds to correct. My advice, as always, if you insist on buying a diesel, fill it up with premium diesel, at least every other fill up, and take it for a long, steady motorway run at least a couple of times a month, and you should be okay. Used prices here in the UK are all over the place. Because this model ran for so long, you can pick these up from as little as six or seven thousand pounds, all the way up to twenty-five thousand pounds. So it really depends on which model you want to go for. I'd recommend spending somewhere between twelve and fourteen thousand pounds, and for that you should find a nice two thousand and fifteen M Sport with sensible mileage. For a late run model like this with ninety-four thousand miles on the clock, expect to spend around nineteen thousand pounds. In terms of its rivals, you could go with a Audi A4 Estate or a Mercedes C-Class Estate, but neither of those two will drive as well as this 3 Series. Well, I think that just about covers everything. If you're a young family and you're thinking about buying a Qashqai, sort your head out. Get yourself a 3 Series Estate. Thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'll leave the link below. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know below and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you're thinking about getting into the used car business, then check out my online course. I've created an online platform with nearly 100 videos which explain every single aspect of the used motor trade. Where to start, branding, funding, sourcing cars, preparing cars for sale, it's all there. So do check it out. So cheers guys, I'll see you next time.